what is up? Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. I'm Deborah. This is Purusha Intuitive. And we're looking at your weekly reading. So we're doing tarot, oracle, all that fun stuff. See what kind of comes up for you guys. This is for Libra Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, obviously welcome. I love this. And yeah, <laughs> the energy is fluid. Like as long as the message resonates with you, then it is meant for you. All right, let's look into this. There's not really a lot to talk about. Um, the energy is not bad, but it's not good. We might be experiencing some you and reunion just came out. We might be experiencing some minimal tensions, annoyances, frustrations, depending on what's happening in your life. Message of warning. So be mindful, guys. Don't, uh, don't sweep it all underneath the rug. Don't put your head in the sand. Be conscious, you know, of, uh, we'll get into it. I don't like doing all the fear-based stuff. I try to approach it from that perspective of there's always options, there's always solutions, there's always creativity, right? Finding the peace and the calm within right now. I feel like this is really important because it's like you're waiting on something. You don't completely know how the situation's going to pan out. But freaking out about it right now, all the hypotheticals, the what ifs are not going to help. You know, it's better to just kind of stay in this state of calm and see. It's going to be a minute before I feel like you get clarity around this. You might even have the opportunity to give someone forgiveness for how they're behaving, right? There is something that's coming to head. I do feel it. There is like a cycle that, um, hold on a second. This one's, that one's a little loud. <laughs> I don't know if it bothers you guys, but I feel like I'm screaming. Um, and my voice is already a little hoarse. So yeah, forgiveness. I mean, I think this is extending the olive branch is what I'm hearing. And I feel like you get the opportunity to do this because you are remaining calm. Um, you know, like I said, there is there is going to be something you're waiting on, perhaps like a message of communication. Maybe the tide is turning a little bit. But again, it's from you kind of keeping this even keel, which actually, Libra, you're very good at. You are ruled by the scales, balance. Yes, it can get thrown out of proportion one way or the other. But your your energy feels even. Maybe you're not specifically interacting with this person, but like I said, you have that opportunity to forgive. And it's through the learning, it's through the experience. And quite honestly, even if a situation feels so messy and out of your control right now. You're gaining the abundance. You're gaining kind of the upper hand that you're looking for from that state of just remaining neutral. A lot of times we just have to wait to see. Most of the stress, the freaking out, comes because, um, you know, we're not staying balanced. We're getting too worked up in what could potentially happen or what someone did mean. All the things that are in between the lines, right? Which really we can't control those things. The only thing we can control is ourself. So let's look at this a little deeper, Libra. Ooh, the world. This this card's been popping up a lot for a lot of the zodiacs. 
You know, and I was going to say this earlier as well with this forgiveness energy. It is about closing out a cycle, right? Number 19, it breaks down to 10, which is the end of the cycle. It's a t the end of, you know, this period of your life. It could be a huge transformation where you're completely leaving behind different ideas, thoughts, viewpoint, etc. Yeah, taking more time to go within. We have Virgo energy. You could be on the Virgo Libra cusp. And the Page of Cups. You know, it feels like whatever situation you have to stay calm in, the person or people you're dealing with, they I feel like they have to kind of reflect on why things are ending. They might be getting emotionally triggered. You might be getting emotionally triggered, you know? I mean, like I said, there's there's a need to be calm on both ends. You're seeing that there is a lot of conflict. And I feel like you don't really, you're working to like weave your way through to the best of your ability. What this person or situation is trying to give is just very subpar. It's baby energy. It has a lot of immaturity around it. Ignorance, not really knowing how to deal or work with things. And here you are just kind of fighting what gets thrown at you. But I do feel like, Libra, there is this element of grace. Yeah, you're being really strong. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo energy with the strength card. I love the message of the strength card because it is about taming that inner beast within. It's talking about how you do have the strength to overcome this situation. Even in this present moment, if it doesn't feel like that, it's happening. You're doing it. I don't feel like you are the one creating the arguments and fights. You'll know if that is you. There's that emotion right there. But it is provoking a lot. A lot of feelings. A lot of emotions. We are in Pisces season right now. So that kind of feeling energy is way heightened. You know? It's kind of like... <laughs> It can be so annoying because it's like we see behind the curtain. You know, we can feel what people are thinking, feeling, saying, you know. Like it's just like we can pick up so much from the energetic world. And so it is, it is a lot. It is a lot. What I love about this specific moon card, if you can see, you know, the figure is on one hand, there's a mask. On the other hand is the heart. And I feel like it's like with the moon, it's like we can choose to look at the, the illusions, the way people hide behind their masks, etc. But our heart knows that's not true. You know, it's just like, which one are we going to focus on? Because there is potential for magic and healing. This situation, it, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of burden. Maybe this person or, is having a lot on their plate. What it actually means to step up. You could be dealing with, there's more of that earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. Masculine, you know, this is usually, to me, it's always like our life partner or the person, you know, it could be. Just someone either that you are in a long-term commitment with or have been, a business partner. Someone that kind of has that, um, you know, partnership vibe. Like, it doesn't have to be romantic is what I'm trying to say. They could be attached to your finances. They're really stressed out is what it's showing. I don't feel like they know how to uphold it all. They're trying to find their happiness and their peace. So it's like there's a lot of stress on the in-between. They're being pulled in two different directions between what actually makes them feel happy, what actually makes them feel good and whole versus like 
what's just going to stress the situation out more. I feel like this is something that this person gets into a lot. They almost get so stubborn and so tied into what they think they should be doing, how they should be standing up, justifying themselves, the bad behavior, versus like just what's good for the whole, right? Because look at these partners and the Ten of Cups, just like beautifully intertwined. There's happiness, there's peace and calm, there's love, satisfaction. But I feel like this person can't even do that, you know? Probably because they're so stuck in this ending. The cycle coming to a close and not really knowing how to deal with it. Wanting to hide, wanting to self-protect. And so that's where this baby energy comes in. You're getting more of the immaturity, the emotional or lack of emotional constraint, I should say, right? And you're just kind of standing here like, okay, <laughs> let me navigate it through it all. As I lifted that up, the cards or the video said 1111. So drop those angel numbers below. I love spirit converse, confirmation. We receive messages all the time, right? We just have to pay attention. Here's that Ace of Cups. This feels like this is what this person or situation wants from you, right? They want a fresh start. They want new beginnings. They want there to be love, but I feel like this is a battle within their own self. There might be an element of like them coming and asking for forgiveness about their behavior for some of you, not for all, because this energy is also very stubborn. So some of you might get like the legit communication but for those of you who don't, I would say just know in your heart that I don't I don't know if their behavior is really truly how they want to be acting. I also think this person is very immature and just struggles to act right, <laughs> act in a way that's appropriate. Maybe you've had to hold down the fort this whole time. You're always the one keeping them at bay, right? Tempering that anger, that lion within. And I don't know if they've learned their lesson. It doesn't feel like that because they're still trying to have their foot in both worlds. And for you, all you see is that conflict. Yeah, too bad, so sad, guys. It's really hard when people act like this because what it talks about is it really is blocking love, opportunity, connection, relationship. It's making it hard to stay balanced. Yeah, very interesting. So we got two sixes in between the Queen of Swords. You know, for some of you, this might even just be some of their tactics, right? Like trying to throw you off balance, trying to get you to react, trying to get you to say something, see how far that they can push you instead of just having an honest conversation. That might not be for everybody, you know? Especially if you're in no communication with this person right now or situation. Just be mindful, like, because I do feel, if you feel like someone's really kind of coming after you, trying to get a response, again, this calm energy is really just, like, emphasized for you. Let's see how it moves forward, guys. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, this person is not giving... Too bad, guys. I'm so sorry to see this. There's too much, um, so much tension and conflict around this situation, and unnecessarily so. I mean, I think, you know, whether this is just about you 
letting go saying you know what it is what it is i'm moving on moving forward there's no i feel like with this five of swords energy this is really when something's got to give and unless it does it's you know unfortunately it's not going to move you know it's going to kind of stay in this space of stagnancy this person having their little temper tantrums and you always having to walk on eggshells all right so let me t get one for this person here that you're dealing with and Yeah, I mean, I feel like they have some work to do. It's some stuff that probably they're not even cognizant of, if I'm honest. They're very reactionary. Sometimes we have to uncover the roots of why we're acting, behaving in a certain way. You know, for you, it is just waiting it out like we see in that overarching energy. Know that it's all about divine timing. It's going to happen when it needs to. To the best of your ability, try not to get too wrapped into what's happening because it is it is a whole new chapter. And sometimes when we're going through that shift and that change, we just need to be patient with how, how things are going to kind of settle, right? Like with change, there's a lot of upheaval, uprooting. But then as we get accustomed, as we get integrated into the new way, ooh, <laughs> sorry, that freaked me up. Uh, you know, then then we can kind of see what we're working with. So I hope this helped, Libra. I'm sending you so much love and blessings to whatever you're navigating through. Thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely, I'm here to support you in whatever way. Just hit me up. I would be honored. Big thumbs up if this resonated. Drop comments below. I would love to hear. Uh, and grow the community. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time and energy always. Lots of love and blessings.